All right, a little more work on the uh, <clears throat> SDK 85. I've loaded in these uh, 8216s, and ooh, they are toasty. I know they run hot. Um, ooh, that one's hot too. Wow, those guys are hot. <laughs> uh, let me get up my thermal camera here. I think uh, the old and moldy uh, electronics gets hot. That's why they invented CMOS. Let's see here. These guys are. Oh man, the high, the high up there is a uh, fifty. Forty-nine. Let's see, where's the? I can't read it on this one. I'm looking over here. Oh, high time. Oh, geez, eighty. Yeah, man, these guys get toasty. Seventy-eight. Eighty-four. That guy's running eighty-four. <laughs> He's a toasty. But that's what they did back then. They ran hot. Anyway, I loaded those up, and now this section is complete. And what it does is it takes the bus. Uh, that is available in 8080, uh, you know, world, and it puts it over here on the bus. So the, all the the whole address bus, the zero through 15 addresses, and and the and the data bus, and the read writes, and everything is available over here. So so now I can hook up a logic analyzer uh, to those pins. I added a, a socket or a header, and I've I put those on there and. Uh, I have it running through a uh, uh, Sele, uh Logic 16 analyzer. You might wonder why I'm not using my fancy scope that has Logic Analyzer built in, because it's really, really bad. It, it, do not buy these for the digital mode. And, uh, under certain circumstances, it's great. But as a general analyzer, the software is really bad. Uh, adding labels, it's buggy, zooming in and out, everything, all you lose your formatting. There's a whole bunch of stuff that's just really, really painful. I tried to love it, I can't, I, I just can't do it. So I'm gonna be using the old tried and true Sale 16. And so uh, we can see it over here. And uh, so, how does this thing work? Well, we've got eight data lines here. We've got the uh, the read pulse, the write pulse, and the I/O memory. So, whether you're reading or writing from uh, RAM or from I/O, okay. And so, we can uh, run it. I'll hit the reset button, and then I'll hit run. And then I'll let up on the reset button and we will capture the first thing it does on wake up. So this is, here it is waking up, okay? And so these reads down here are going to be, uh, see, let me zoom down here. Uh, these reads are going to be the code that it's, that it's uh, pulling out, right? And so it's doing some things here, la 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 la. Um, that doesn't look like a count the right event. Let me let me do this again. Yeah, that looks better. I don't know what happened last time. I'm probably talking into the camera. Um, so, um, oops. So it captures. You set it up for how many? It's captured one second worth of data, and we can we can go in anywhere in that one second worth of data. And take a look at things. So let's uh, go out here on when it starts up, and uh, you can see down here in the uh, right, it it's doing a, a bunch of writes up front, but then it stops doing writes. It's like setting things up here, and then now it's just kind of waiting for a keyboard input, and it doesn't need to do any writes any longer. So what does it do on the very very start? Uh, it does uh, some opcodes. Um, let's see here. All right, so we need to look here at the um, this read. So these are going to be the opcodes. This one up here is going to be whatever it writes. This is whatever it's reading. So it's going to grab a, a 3E00320. 
okay? And it's, 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 it's shoving data into the A register and stuff, and then it's doing, it's writing it out somewhere. It might be a, a, a push or something. Let's go out here to the first write uh, IO event. So here, here, um, this pulse right at the bottom, this is when it says we're writing to IO instead of memory. So what is it doing? Well, if we look here, a, a 3E is load accumulator with zero, zero. And then it's going to write that. Uh, this is the output command. D3 is the output command. It's going to output it to port 20. And it's going to output whatever's in the A register, which was zero. And then here is the write pulse that happens. And then here is, let's back up here. Here is the zero, zero that's happening, right? So it's, it's uh, loading the A register with zero, outputting to uh, port 20, zero, zero. So what is it doing? What's port 20? All right, so um, this particular chip is memory plus I.O. It has some parallel ports in it, right? And it has port 21, 22, and 23. Well, what's port 20? Well, port 20 is the control port, so it's writing 00, zero to the control port, which probably sets all of the uh, all of the uh, ports to either input or output, probably output, because that's what it's going to be used to do. Um, so anyway, yeah, it does it does work. So um, it is fun to to poke around in a um, in something like this. We can do another, uh, maybe another fun thing here. Let's go ahead and run a program. Uh, 0, 8, C, 4. That's the one that's beeping, okay? And then let's capture one second worth of that. And then I'll stop that. So you can see here we're doing a bunch of writes, okay? And uh, if we come down here, we're doing a bunch of writes, but we're not doing anything to I.O. yet. So let's zoom way out. Here, oh, here's an I.O. event. OK, let's zoom in that on, onto that I.O. event. What is this I.O. event? OK, it's taking, uh, uh, it's taking the accumulator and it's loading it with zero, and then it's outputting it to 23 this time, port 23. Okay, so what's port 23? All right, so let's come up over here. Port 23 is right here, and here is, uh, uh, it's using bit five of port 23 to operate the the operate the buzzer. The buzzer is connected to that port 23. So that's what our that's what our code is doing here. Is it, it's outputting outputting a tone. All right. Then you can see it's uh, probably doing a bunch of delay loops to set the tone. And then we finally we finally after uh, after 1.8 milliseconds we get another write command. Let's look at this write command. This write command, we are loading uh, the A register now with two zero. Instead of zero, zero, it's two zero. And we're outputting that to the 23. So we set it low, and now we're setting it high. And you can see here our write is the value of two zero. So anyway, uh, it's a really good exercise to learn how microprocessors work, how buses work. Uh, data, I.O., read, write, timing. Uh, you can look up here. The way that I have this set up right now is I have it synchronized on uh, the rising edge of the reads. Okay, so these read pulses, whenever you get a rising edge, you see this little arrow here. That's when it's going to be uh, capturing an event and uh, for, for this decoding here. Okay, that decoding is here by the analyzers. You turn on simple parallel. I've got one simple parallel for the data uh, uh, reads and one simple parallel for the data writes. And uh, one of those is triggered on the rising edge of the read and one of them is triggered on the rising edge of the write. 
So these rising edges, okay, uh, cause little dots here in the data. So you can see that the data is stable when, when that event is happening. That's what those little dots do. They tell you, uh, okay, everything was stable. Like you see right here, uh, the D3 line here, it, we're, we're transitioning here, and then this uh, data line glitches, but it doesn't matter because all it needs to do is be stable by the time we get to the dots. All right, so anyway, fun, fun, fun. Anyway, so now I have, now I have a board where I can now develop some firmware and I can monitor it with a, uh, an analyzer and I can hook up peripherals like a beeper or LEDs and stuff. This is something that somebody did before. They're using this chip just as a buffer and it's coming off here of port one of the uh, 80, uh, 80, what are those things? 8370, what are these things? I forget what they are, the, the uh, chip here, the 8755, that's it. 8755 has some ports as well. So they, they wrote a program, it's been lost to history, but they wrote a little program to flash some LEDs. And we can recreate that maybe in the future. Uh, since it's already sort of sort of sort of there on the board, wire wrapped for our pleasure. <laughs>